All right, today we have a solar air conditioner from EG4 Electronics. This is their 24,000 BTU solar hybrid air conditioner. And this is my niece, Ashley, and her husband, JD. And we're gonna install it in their shop today. All right, guys, so we got some progress made. We've got the inside unit mounted on the wall. We also have the electrical routed through into the disconnect here for the AC. So this is our 240 volt AC disconnect that's gonna run to the unit. And we've got the pad poured. So we're waiting for that to cure so it's going to be obviously a few days from now we also got our breaker installed in in the panel we have one two three four five six seven of the serious bifacial panels i think these are the 410 these are 410 watts i believe and these are going to be mounted on the south facing corrugated metal roof up here. So we should be able to get up all seven of them in portrait mode. So straight up and down. And what we're using to mount them on the roof are these mini rails. So these just literally screw to the raised section of the corrugated metal roof and these seal right here. I'm hoping they seal. And then in between the panels, we have these mid clamps and then we have our, it, our end clamps. So that's just a little update to where we're at right now. Here's the outside unit. I'll be back when we've got some more to show. All right, guys, it's the next weekend on this project and the pad has fully cured here and they already got the outdoor unit mounted on it so they've got these bolts here so i think what i'm going to do now is i'm going to install the coolant line set so this is the part that's coming out of the indoor unit it's going to go down and connect in to the main unit, the outdoor unit here. And here is the line set that it comes with. So there's a larger, thicker one, and then there's a, a thinner one. It's already pre-insulated, which is nice. And these things are already pre-vacuumed. So you don't have to actually do any vacuuming of the lines. You don't have to do any um, feeling of this system it's already pre-filled uh, i believe the refrigerant is compressed up into the inside of this outside unit here so it's actually all the refrigerant for the system is in this unit and when you hook up the lines there's a valve that you open up that allows the refrigerant to go through so you can do it yourself or you know obviously if you don't feel comfortable uh, of course have somebody else do it so these right here, we're going to kind of roll out. You know, this, this stuff's quite flexible, but it is a little bit rigid. The thing that you want to make sure that you do is when you start to roll this out is that you don't kink the lines. So uh, I've, I've actually seen some pictures of people do installs of these things and they've got the lines all bent up and kinked and that's not going to be good. So. If you're careful and you start to roll it out, you know, carefully, like so, you're gonna prevent yourself from bending uh, or kinking up these lines. So I'm gonna straighten out, you know, a length of it. That way, that's the part that will go up the wall and then we'll get these things bolted together. All right, guys, so I've got the larger 
of the two line sets connected. And see, we got it going up the wall here to here. And so earlier I said that this stuff was quite flexible or pretty flexible. It is to a degree, but I will say, you know, once you start working with it in closer, tighter uh, areas like down here, it is a little bit tougher. It, uh, the flexibility is, <laughs> it's still flexible, but it gets a lot less flexible in these tighter spaces. So whenever you get it like this, you know, just be careful. Don't, you know, whenever you're bending, uh, make sure it's getting a good radius and not, you know, a tight angle. You don't want to kink it. Uh, so as long as you kind of work with it and you're filling it out as you're bending, you probably won't get any kinks in it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get the, the smaller line set on. That should be a lot easier to manipulate. And I'll be back. All right, guys. So we got the smaller quarter inch uh, line set hooked up. And uh, so when you get these screwed on, it comes with these little keeper pins right here. And they just go through the little connector here like this. And I think that all that is to do, I think all that really does is if there's some vibration that starts to back this nut off, this will keep it from just sliding all the way off and emptying your refrigerant. It goes on both of these fittings here. And then it, the same thing on these upper fittings as well. All right, guys, so now that the line sets are installed and we've got the pins in place, uh, what you do is you take these caps off here and it exposes a valve. So there's one in the smaller side and there's one in the larger side. And so we open these valves up and that releases the refrigerant out of the main unit here into the lines and into the indoor unit. So we're gonna do the larger one first. So let's go ahead and start backing it out. Oh, and by the way, it does come with this Allen wrench. So look in your little packet. It has the one that you need. There we go. And we can hear, we can hear the refrigerant going through the lines. That is absolutely normal. So we're just gonna keep backing this out until it stops. You don't wanna like force it, but you'll feel it stop. Okay, yeah, now it stops. So that's all the way out. I'm gonna do the smaller side. There we go. And then it stops. Okay, and then put your little caps back on. Uh, so that's a critical step. Don't forget to do that because if you don't, the system's not going to work at all because uh, there's no refrigerant being piped through. So if it's not working, you might want to double check to make sure you did that step. The other thing I want to uh, note for you guys is these line sets, uh, they have these caps on them. And also these little connectors have caps on them. Leave those on until you're ready to get this all installed. Don't take those off and leave these things just setting places because what'll happen is you'll get contaminants up inside these fittings and that's gonna get contaminants in your lines. So these caps are on there to keep those lines clean and the fittings clean. So when you're ready to mate those two together, that's when you remove these caps, okay? So next up, we're going to install the electrical whip, the little conduit, the little flexible conduit for the uh, 240 volt AC in here. And then while we're in there, we'll, we'll get the cable that comes from the inside unit and we'll run that in as well. All right, so we got it all wired up. We have it running now. It is on, it's whisper quiet. So that was one of the first things that we noticed. And then on the inside here, 
We've got the inside unit. It's blowing air. It is currently, you know, 83 right now. Let's see, uh, 95 up here. And we've got uh, 69.4 degrees coming out of here. 60, 62 right there. So like I said, we just turned it on and it's on just uh, our AC grid power right now. So we will be hooking up solar panels next, but we're gonna go ahead and just let it run for a little bit. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and close this door and see if it starts to cool the shop down. All right, guys, so we took a break and went and had a bite to eat and just let this thing keep running in here. And it's, it's really nice feeling in here now. So we're showing about 70, nine 70 yeah 79.3 of course when we point it at the ac it's going to be a lot cooler yeah whereas before we were like in the 90s i think on this wall so it's showing 78 right there and uh as we get further away obviously it's there's some warmer spots, like we're 82 on this table. Now, if we go outside and get some temperature readings. So yeah, it's definitely a night and day's difference as far as the comfort inside the shop versus outside. Let's see, we're looking at, you know, 101 on this wall right here. 90s on the ground so yeah it's uh doing pretty good uh, so our next task is getting the panels up on the roof and we already have the rails in place as you can see here you know all the way across so really we just need to hoist them up and bolt them down all right guys we got the panels installed on the roof all the way across so it's uh, dark now i think we're going to call it a day uh, we're not going to plug these in yet we're going to wire them in tomorrow so we'll be back all right you guys so we've got the solar all wired in We've got our solar disconnect switch wired in here. Uh, they're going to do a conduit run at a later date. We just have it just coming straight off the roof right now from the solar panels. But the unit is running. It is actually running off solar. So we can see with my meter, we are pulling in about 13 amps from the solar. Uh, the open circuit voltage from the solar was about 230 volts. Uh, I'm not sure what it is right now. We can actually check. Okay, so let me see if I can get the meter on here. Check this voltage. All right, there we go. We got 182.9 volts. And 182.9 times 11 amps what we're doing right now so we are pulling 2011.9 watts from solar <laughs> that's just that's just too awesome in my opinion i dig it all right guys so i think that's going to wrap up this video uh, let me know what you think about this system in the comments i'm going to link everything in the description so if you guys want to check this system out, it'll be in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.